But I took the viral money roll gift box and I made it into something a little bit more realistic to those on a budget. So welcome to another Dollar Tree DIY where I am going to show you how to make a money roll gift box that your loved ones will never forget. So first things first, head over to your Dollar Tree and you're gonna wanna get some fluffy ribbon and a box that is a little bit bigger than the size of a toilet paper roll. Next, get a two pack of the Scotch transparent tape. Then head over to the stationery department where you are going to grab some white index cards. Then help yourself to some fun, colorful stickers because we are going to be making some personalized love coupons. And don't forget to get some colorful markers. Then get these zipper seal bags. They come with packs of 40. I got two. Now this here is where the fun and creativity come in. Come up with some fun love coupons that are personalized that you know that the person you are giving this gift to will love. Pause to read and these are some of the ideas that we came up with. We use the stickers to make it more fun and festive and colorful. And it's totally up to you if you want to come up with some expiration date. Next comes the most time consuming part and that is wrapping each dollar and coupon individually. But when you're in good company, it really doesn't seem that long. Turn on a TV show, listen to some music, chit chat, and it really doesn't feel like that long at all. I was a bit nervous when I bought these bags that they were not going to fit the dollar completely and it fit absolutely perfect with very little space. If you are not able to find those at your Dollar Tree, then just get some sandwich bags or even snack bags. Next, you are going to align your dollars and your coupons and make sure that they are all facing the exact same way and you are going to add some tape in the front and the back to make sure it's nice and secure because you don't want it coming apart. Next, you are going to want to get the roll that's in the center of a paper towel or even toilet paper for sanitary purposes. Make sure you use a fresh roll. If you end up getting a paper towel, just cut it to size. You want it a little bit smaller than the box that you bought. Then set that aside and you are going to very tightly roll your money and coupons. Roll it as tight as you possibly can. Then you are going to add it to the center of that toilet paper roll and then you are going to make sure that there's enough space uh, for it to pull kind of do like a little test run and make sure that it's nice and tight that's why you want to secure the front and the back and once you see that it fits you're going to set it aside and, and using either tape or hot glue you are going to secure the roll onto the bottom of your box i highly recommend using tape though because it's going to make sure it's like more secure because you don't want it to lift and then you are going to very carefully add your roll inside of the cardboard, leaving a few index cards or dollar bills a little bit loose, just like you see here. And then you are going to add the top of the box and then you are going to see like where you wanna make that slit. You're gonna to wanna to make a cut. Do it very carefully. And then when I did this and I did a test run, I noticed that I had to make a bigger slit because you want to make sure that the contents inside the box slide out easily. The cutting of the box may not look so pretty, but don't worry. Once you secure the ribbon to the first contents of the bag, the fluffiness of the ribbon is going to cover that slit. So make sure you secure it tightly with tape on the front and the back. I then added a pull here sign using the index card, gave it another test run, but not all the way, just to make sure that I was able to pull the contents comfortably and then I just rolled everything back in there and secured the box with a little bit of tape all around to make sure that it wouldn't lift. And there you have it. It's that easy. And that's how.